In this video, we will go over the basic troubleshooting steps for a Samsung LCD TV that has a blank screen and no backlights. In this video, we are using a Samsung 32 inch LCD TV. In most Samsung LCD TVs, we have four boards. We have the main board, the power supply board, the backlight inverter. The backlight inverter can sometimes be covered by a plastic or metal shield. We also have the TCON board. The TCON board can also sometimes be covered by a shield. Click the link in the video for more information on the basic functions of these boards. If you have no image on the screen of your Samsung LCD TV, you will want to first Run the flashlight test to see if your TV has backlights and an image on the screen when pointing the flashlight at the screen. Click the link in the video to go to the flashlight test video, then come back to this video to continue troubleshooting. After running the flashlight test, you have now been able to determine if your TV has backlights or not, and if your TV has an image on the screen while using a flashlight. If your TV does show an image on the screen with a flashlight shining on it and you don't have backlights, then the problem is most likely with either the power supply, the backlight inverter, or the CCFLs, also known as the lamps, in your TV that provide the backlighting. The first thing you'll want to do is visually inspect the backlight inverter or inverters and check to see if there are any burnt or damaged components. Here are some examples of what a puffy capacitor or burnt and damaged component will look like. If you have any damaged components that look this way, you should replace the board. If there is not a replacement board available, you can also try replacing the individual components or purchasing a repair kit. Removing and installing new components requires the ability to be able to solder. When looking for damaged components or burn marks, you can also look at the bottom side of the board. You would simply just need to disconnect all the cables and then remove the screws that hold the board to the panel. Be sure when disconnecting cables and removing screws that you take a picture of what the board looks like in the original state with all the cables connected and then you'll have a reference for when you reconnect all the cables. If you see any burnt or damaged components, it is recommended to replace that board. If your TV has two backlight inverters, replace the boards at the same time. You can also visually inspect the power supply board to see if there are any damaged or burnt components on that board. Again, if you see any burnt or damaged components, it is recommended to replace the board. Some TVs will have what is called a lips board. This board has the backlight inverter and power supply combined onto one board. If you have a blank screen, no backlights, but can see an image on the screen with a flashlight, you can visually inspect the lips board for damaged or burnt components. Once again, if you see any burnt or damaged components, it is recommended to replace the board. If all of the boards and components visually look good, then further testing would require using a meter to check voltages. If you do not have the equipment and skills necessary to use a meter to check voltages, then you can also try purchasing multiple boards and replacing them individually to see which board fixes the problem. If you are going to purchase multiple boards and replace them individually, before purchasing, be sure to understand the return policy of the company you are purchasing from as there may be restocking fees or parts that are not returnable. If you have a blank screen, no backlights, but can see an image on the screen with a flashlight, you can purchase the power supply and backlight inverter board and replace them individually to see if one of those boards fixes the problem. If you have a lips board, you can purchase a replacement and see if it fixes the problem. Once again, the problem could also be caused by the lamps in the TV and not any of these boards. Here are some other videos that can help with Samsung LCD TV repair troubleshooting. Click on any of the links to view the video.
If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.